In this video, I'll show you the Layout Builder module that you can use to build layout sections and display them in Joomla module positions. It's a powerful way to easily create layouts and hide parts of them on a per page basis. So let's get started by going into the module section. The Layout Builder is an additional module type that appears in Joomla. When you add a new module, just select the Builder. Let's name it Builder Top A so that we can find it again when we create more than one. And let's publish this one in the top position of our theme. The Layout Builder is only really useful for the top and bottom positions because what we are building here are sections and these are meant to extend to the full width of the site. And let's also make sure that this one is displayed on all pages. Now save this and close the system dialog. And next to our new module, we now see this Builder button. We can use it to launch the Layout Builder for this specific module. And in here, you can create any kind of layout the same way you would create page content with the page builder you are probably used to by now. So let's add some content. I have already prepared a section that I will add from the library. This section has an alert element on the left and a Joomla module on the right, showing the latest articles on our site. Let's save this and create a second builder module. Let's name this one Builder Top B. Also display it on all pages. Also choose a top position and save this. Let's open the builder, start with an empty layout and let's just add a newsletter element. As you can see, the first section that I had prepared makes use of a gray background. The second one uses a different background for the section. So as you can see, using the Layout Builder module allows us to have sections with different settings, even though all of them are still in the same top position. And now I want to show you the great advantage of using the Builder module. It allows us to use the full flexibility that Joomla offers for modules. So for example, let's go to the latest articles module, which is the one that we have used inside the layout builder. Let's go to the menu assignment for this module and say that it's only visible on the home page. Hit save, close the dialog and navigate to a different page. So if the latest article module is now hidden on the products page, the limited offer text here fills up the whole width instead of leaving an empty space on the page. This collapse behavior makes sure that your elements always look good, even if some of the content is hidden on the current page. Now let's go to the second builder module and also change the menu assignment so that it's only visible on the home page. So now on this products page, the builder module is gone. And of course on the home page, all of the content is visible now. So let's sum up why the layout builder is useful. It allows you to build any number of sections in the top and bottom positions, and it allows you to use the full flexibility of Joomla to dynamically hide and show modules and sections on different pages. Modules can be shown depending on the current page, as we've seen it here, but this can also depend on the permissions of the currently logged in user and the current language in case you have set up a multi-language site. In this video, I've shown examples in the top position. You can use the same approach in the bottom position. This is really useful if you want to show different versions of the footer across different pages of your website. So for example, here we have the default footer section from the theme, plus I've added a layout builder module that has the same background color. So it looks as though the footer extends all the way up here.
and the menu assignment of this module is configured in a way so that it's only visible on the home page. If I go to the products page again, we only see the default footer section down here and this extended footer is gone. If you want to swap the whole footer on different pages, remember to go to the layout section and get rid of everything inside the footer. You can now place your own versions of the footer in the bottom position. The Layout Builder module also allows you to use fine-grained permissions about who has access to edit your website. For example, you could revoke the permission to access the template for a certain user account. That would mean that they wouldn't have access to the website builder here. Instead, you could allow them to only edit modules. So if the user goes to the modules area, they can still find the builder module and edit its content. However, they won't be able to access the full website builder and change other global settings on your site. In this video, we had a look at the page builder module. It allows you to create any number of sections inside the theme's top and bottom positions. That way you can easily create layouts using the builder's drag and drop editing, but still have the full flexibility of showing and hiding modules on a per page basis. Thanks for watching.